block. We call this a post block. It's basically, you know, the reason we call it a post block is because we're putting a barrier and a post in the way. So we strike number one, I angle off, I post. I support. Okay, don't put your hand here because it's going to get hit. Support or check. Or do both. Support and check. So if you blast through that post, you've got to be pretty powerful. It must not even like a hickory stick. That's going to break that hickory stick. That's why we're camping to do it. So I take that post, I angle, and I'm just going to grab Once I stop the force, I'm going to grab towards the hand, then I'll do my trip. I'm just pushing against that hand. Two way action, right? So all you're doing is, is this. You do this every day. Right? One, two. That's all you're doing. <laughs> Push and chamber. You got the same technique. That's, that's all number one this arm is. And number two is, is just a snake, right? The snake in here. Right? Just an inside snake. So same thing on the opposite. I'm off of number one. Block check. All I'm going to do is I can either pass with my stick or I'm going to pass with a hand. That stick's always here. That's one, one question. My stick's always, this post is always going to be here. Whether it be that one or, or two. Even if I pass it down here. You just stick here in front. So don't let your stick be every which way. Always try to keep it somewhere in this post, in this, in this inside, inside gate. You know, every once in a while you be outside. So the same thing number two. This time we're open, a little bit more open. We can post. We can check in. We're just stopping that force, okay? The snake, the simple one, obviously, that's just you're just snaking around the hand. And one thing I want to get out of my suit is don't snake the stick. Okay, that does nothing. All it does is actually get some of those other meters. You can just tap and push against me, right? Use against me. So we're staking for this. And I always take the sword to both the arms. Okay, the sword to take up that arm. Okay? So number two is pretty simple. We just post, we keep that post there. So if you get people out through, so you've got to, you know, you guys are going to get through that stick. Like, you know, it's not going to get through. This is one of your force on force blocks. All right, so, and then to go to the number one, you stop the force. That's the key. For me to grab this end of this pit, I've got to stop that energy. Two tries, you know, I've got to hit that hand, pass it, and I just, you know, if I stick on this side, I can stay on this pit, or I just pivot around here. So you can, if you watch this pivot, I just bring my stick back just a little bit, see that pose is still there. So even if he, even if he tries to punch through, or he, you know, or, or he drops his stick down to bring his other hand across, right? We have something here. Okay, so number two, we're just changing sides. That's all we're doing to go to that first trick. Okay, just like the number one, I just showed you on the number one. Got it? So we're just doing one and two. Just one and two on the one side, on the, on the forehand shot side. All right? <coughs> number one on the backhand side, the trick side. All right? Same thing, number two. 